Hey, Italios45 here, and this is the final video of the uh, my new and improved C++ database program uh, series. And uh, we're going to be doing the display all function today. So uh, to, to start out this, you need to go back up into your input function, and you need to uh, go down right uh, after this, after the uh, closing the employee function, and we're going to have to create a new file. You know, OF stream, name it dir and just name this directory dot txt then outside of that you put comma it's ios colon colon app now what that does it uh, makes it makes the file appending so every time you add new information to it it doesn't delete the old and just uh, adds it adds new to it Alright, so now you're going to put dir. Actually, this is going to be exactly the same as this up here. So, go ahead and copy that. And paste that. Oops. There we go. So, now what it'll, it'll do is every time, uh, then, well, right after here, you put dir.close. So, close of the file. Then, uh, basically, what it'll do is when it, it'll take basically copy the information that was put into the individual file and it'll put it in one file called directory. It'll every single name that that's created, all the information that's ever created will be put into a directory file. So now I need to go back to the display all function. And this is not very long at all. So you just clear the screen. Alright, this is always, and you're gonna have three strings as always, f name, uh, m name, and uh, l name. Then an integer for the age. float. Oh, well, well, wait, not float. It's going to be a double for the salary and int for the EMP ID. And we're going to go ahead and see out. Just make it say like entire employee database and in that line and next you're going to just just for formatting just put just a bunch of dashes there just to separate the title from the data and line and if stream dir directory dot txt and a while loop just as you always would you just put a dir F name, M name, L name, age, EMP ID, and salary. Okay, now in the curly brackets, you're going to want to put C out F name. M name, L name, and then as age, salary, salary, and finally 
EMP ID. Okay, and at the end of that, just put system pause and main. Take it back to the main function. Okay, now let's give this bad boy a try. See if I have anything else to fix like I did in my prior videos. Alright, let's input a new employee. Now let's name him John. I don't know. Frank. I don't know something. Frank Doe. Ages 35. Salary 65,000. His ID number is. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. All right. Now let's go to the display all. And that's the only one in there. All right. So that you see it'll, uh, I'll show you something real quick where it's actually saved at. All right. So you got your, uh, directory file here. It'll just store any, any, uh, um, information out of that so you don't uh, you can basically it's just like a log of every single employee on the database so well that's actually it for that one that one was pretty short but I'll make sure you check out the all the videos in the series and think and if you've watched all of them thank you very much make sure you like subscribe and see you in some more videos hey it's Italy horse, Italy horse again uh just so want to let you know if you want to get this code off me, if you're having some trouble with it yourself, go ahead and just uh, put in comments your email address or you can personal message me or something. Just, uh, I'll be happy to send you the code in an email.